Hmm, ang takin mong may oras pang mag-post yung mga adik na yan. Adik na sa games, adik pa sa Bob TV. Magpareyap na kayo! <laughs> Joke. Let's start things off with a shout-out from China Heart. Bakibati po ng character ko sa Mars sa Kabal. Si John Von Lerosu, Dennis X, Vance Kavanovsky, Breaker Blader, at si Samson. Thanks po! Ayan, China Heart! Talo pa namin si Kuya Germ sa pagbati, di ba? And here's one from Merz. Galing ng show. First time sa Philippine TV ang magkaroon ng show about games and gadgets. Nice. Keep up the wonderful work, God bless, and more power sa inyo. Shake natin, Mog TV. Oh, may nalaman ka pang pa-shake-shake dyan, Merz. We may not be the first to actually feature games and gadgets on a show, pero we guarantee to give you the latest and the best news when it comes to gaming. Correct ka dyan, Sam. And to cap off this week's post, here's one from Rechi. Lufet ng Mog TV. Sana gawing 1 hour para mas maintindihan ng viewers. Bitin ka sa 30 minutes eh. <laughs> Keep up the good work, Mog TV. Sam YG rocks. That's what all the girls say, Rechi. Eh, wish ko lang, girl ka din. That's all the time we've got for your posts. So check us out at mogtv.com.ph. Oh Sam, nakapili ka na ba ng gagamitin mong character sa Ruins of Magic? Ah! Ako pa! Eh, actually, eh, hindi pa nga eh, kasi nahirapan ako pumili. Nako, I know what you mean. Pero don't worry, kasi meron tayong video na para sa'yo at sa mga iba pa nating viewers na hindi pa nakaka-decide kung ano yung character class na gagamitin nila sa Runes of Magic. In Runes of Magic, or ROM, there are six main character classes that you can choose from. These are the Knight, Mage, Priest, Rogue, Scout, and Warrior. Knights are juggernauts and fit the role of tanks perfectly. They can wear the heaviest armors and can also use their shield for both defense and offense. Warriors can use a wide range of melee weapons and wear most kinds of armor. They also have an impressive set of passive skills that can enhance their fighting abilities in battle. A mage can use magic spells as long-range attacks. They can also use these spells to defend themselves. They have very low defense and will often be dependent on others to protect them, but their ability to inflict heavy casualties to their enemies make them a worthy addition to any group or hunting party. Priests are the most important element in raiding groups or hunting parties. They may not have much offensive capabilities, but their ability to fully restore another member's HP and even resurrect them from the dead makes them an indispensable part of any faction. Scouts are the masters of long-range attacks, and this makes them as a suitable second class for melee fighters. Most of the time, they can easily take out their victim with just one shot from their bow. During close fighting, a scout may find himself at a disadvantage, and must rely on his evading skills until reinforcements arrive. Rogues are the fastest among the six character classes, and their speed more than makes up for their lack of defense and physical strength. They favor the efficiency of silent kills, and will use sneak attacks and even poison to beat their opponents. O paano Sam? Clear na ba sa yung iba't ibang character classes natin sa Ruins of Magic? Crystal, Diane! At dahil sa'yo pinakita mong video, eh naalinawa na ako kung ano ang dapat kong piliin. So ano na nga ba? At dahil sa'yo pinakita mong video at ang knowledge mo sa characters, eh alam ko na. I pick none other than you, Diane Season. Ikaw na lang pumili ng character at ikaw na rin maglaro. Pabayaran ko lang kuryente mo. Ha? Ako? Fleshbot mo? Bahala ka na nga dyan. Maghanap ka ng kausap mo. Seems like the troops are bringing the rain with the arrival of the badass shooters of Op7. And since hindi lang camper ang mga gamer shootists, we will be giving you the top 5 assault rifles in the game. Sugod! At number 5, we have the German-developed G3 rifle. The G3 was produced in the 1950s by Heckler & Koch. It is a selective fire rifle, making it an improvement over its predecessor in World War II. Current models are effective at 400 meters and have replaceable scopes. The AUG occupies the fourth spot. The AUG is an Austrian rifle made to fit any situation with several changeable parts. At 3.5 kilograms, it handles like a charm and shoots up to 300 meters. At third is the SWAT favorite, SG-55X. The SG-55X is Swiss-made and turns its opponents to Swiss cheese. It has a myriad of uses with its four settings. It's reliable, customizable, and can fire effectively up to 400 meters. Ah. Now for the runner-up, the AK-74. 
The AK-74 is the improved version of the, yup, you guessed it, the AK-47. The Kalashnikov automatic rifle was produced in the Soviet Union and is superior in all aspects to the 47. It is also the preferred rifle of Osama bin Laden with an effective range of more than 600 meters. For the Biden! And for the number one assault rifle, the counter-terror fave, the M4 Carbine. Compared to its older brother, the M16, the M4 is infinitely more reliable. It's also lighter and more compact, making it easier to handle. With a maximum range of 800 meters, it is a true warrior in the fight against Skeletor, uh, I mean, terrorists. What are you doing, soldier? The war on terror is over. President Obama said so. dive into Ruins of Magic once again and this time we're featuring its dual class system. One of Ruins of Magic's unique features is its dual class system. With a dual class system, you can learn the skills of another character class to complement your main skills. Halimbawa, kung ikaw ay knight, pwede mong kunin ang pagiging priest as your secondary class. This way, you'll have a priest's abilities and you'll be able to heal yourself. So, paano nga ba maobtain ang second class sa Ruins of Magic? Madali lang! Just follow these steps. Once your character reaches level 10, pwede ka nang mag second class. You'll be asked to see the mayor and he'll tell you to go to Varanas para hanapin ang class trainer. As long as you consult your map from time to time, getting to Varanas shouldn't be that hard. Varanas is a big city, and if it's your first time, you might get confused. Buti na lang may city teleporter who can transport you to the important parts of the city. At para sa first timers, it's the class hall. Pero be careful sa pagpihin ng combo! Sure, ang Mage Priest tandem ay mamaw pagdating sa massive area of effect damage attacks. Pero na dry up naman kagad ang mana, making the character more susceptible to retaliation. Pagdating ninyo sa class hall, you will be met by NPCs for each class. But before doing anything, make sure you remember this very important tip. Once you choose a second class, there will be no turning back and you won't be able to undo it. Kung tingin ninyo you've made a mistake, You'll have to make a new character and start from level 1 again. So make sure to talk to the NPCs and carefully read what they're saying. Kapag decided ka na on which second class you take, just talk to the NPC representing the class that you want and ta-da! You now have a grand spanking new second class for your Runes of Magic character. Take note that your new second class will be at level 1. And you'll have to play as your second class for a while hanggang magpantay sila ng primary class mo in terms of level. Oh, madali lang, di ba? Just remember that you will often have to switch between your primary and secondary classes to make sure both are getting the required EXP points for leveling. If used correctly, mapa PVE or PVP, a dual classer in ROM is a force to be reckoned with. Runes of Magic.